Um, this is your best friend when it comes to converting a signal. Hey, signal, I'm your best friend too, hey? Don't you like it? Okay, yep. You're my best friend too. Anyway, um, I just want to show you the features on it. There's a video, when you get a jammer, this is a Game of God jammer. And that's the VGA out. And it actually goes, if you join those two up, that's how it joins up. VGA in. And then it also goes VGA, VGA in, VGA out. So whatever signal that is comes out. Then you've got S video and AV. And S video is designed for GameCube or anything with S video. You might have a TV with S video. Uh, AV as well. So that's what I use to go to a PS2 console uh, or to the TV. Ah, stupid game! I hate this game. Gives me the shits. Eh. You're a bad temper, that guy. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is go down. I'm going to connect this up, and um, we're actually going to show I'll show you the actual menu. You can zoom menu and all the features on what this um, converter can do. This converter is an AV, oh, sorry, VGA to AV. You can get other converters. That's an AV RCA input to HDMI output, if you want to go that way, and you can change it. 720 to 1080p, and you got a USB power. On. That's what I forgot to tell you. You got a USB power this bad boy up. So, it's just you get the cable with it, and it's usually a USB cable, you've got to buy your adapter. So you need 5 volts to power that up, so it can um, amplify the signal. Anyway, let's hook it up. Hey guys, i got... Um my Panasonic TV hooked up, my Quintrex. Not a bad TV. Um, it's an old CRT TV. There is the converter. So I've got AV coming out into the TV. VGA, so it's converting VGA to AV. Right, so we're going to go through the menu. If I press this button here, menu, the menu will pop up here. There you go. And you can scroll up and down right down to there. So horizontal size we can go up and down. So it goes wider, it stretches the screen as you can see. Or we can shrink the screen until it sits where it's supposed to. So that's the horizontal and then we want vertical. So that makes it stretch that way. Or we can stretch it this way right down to nothing. So it's a handy, it is a handy tool. So it's still using your screen, you can set this up quite comfortably. I just want to set that up a bit more. And then you press, you press menu and you go out and you just want, it, when you want the picture to go right, you just have, don't have the menu up. And you go right, you can see you go right, right that way. Or you can go right that way. So it is a good converter, eh? So press menu. Now we want to go down to brightness. And then we go up. How bright can we go? How bright do you like it? Or we go down until we find a probably a mediocre one like that. Contrast go right up so 100% contrast or we can go down probably about 60 60 I reckon 60 looks good we'll probably go up to brightness and brighten that up a bit then we go down again hue you can't change you can't change hue sharpness We'll try to go up. 
only goes to 10. Pal, this one's interesting, the pal. You, can, you get different pals, so we're going to go pal NC makes you go black and white. So if you've got black and white games and you just want to play one game, this converter can make it black and white. Um, we'll go back to PAL M or NTC NTSC that's American PAL M is the one to be on then you want to go background that just changes the background you can't see that I'd rather have the background or that so you can see now it's got a CRT or a LCD mode so that's LCD I don't know if you can tell the difference or that CRT and normal now here is the clincher that says left up so that shows the left side of the screen up the top All right left up so we're going to go right up and that's the right part of the screen so essentially you can have four TVs and have a four TV set up and we'll do another video like this Keeps going away because all I keep make take me time. There's left bottom and left right bottom. So if you get what I'm saying, there's normal. So you got left up, you got right up, left bottom, right bottom, then normal. And that's what that converter can do. So later on we'll do another screen, it'll be four of them, the preferably matching screens, match same matching sizes, and we'll do four, but you'll need four converters, one for each screen, but all with the same input. So we'll do another video of that. But anyway, that is the converter, and you can pick them up for 25 bucks, 30 bucks. Alright, hopefully you like that. Bye.